Hello, my name is Zoe and I'm a customer success manager at Everbridge X Matters. Everbridge X Matters automates workflows to eliminate business impacting digital events, leveraging analytics, automation, and AI to improve response time and resolution. I'll be walking through key features in X Matters that will keep your digital businesses running, reducing the frequency, duration, and associated costs of critical service disruptions. First, we'll walk through how X Matters can automate repetitive processes using Flow Designer and or pre-built integrations. Then we'll move to how X Matters can assist incident commanders quickly assess the situation using service dependency mapping and change records. I will also touch on how easy it is to manage incidents from a single plane view. Let's jump into X Matters. Flow Designer is our low code, no code automation palette. There are three major components in Flow Designer. We have our triggers, which can launch a flow. This is done through web integrations, email ingestion, or user actions like submitting a form. Next, we have our list of pre-built integrations. These steps are built to take action in your third-party integration. Commonly used steps are posting messages into Slack or Microsoft Teams. But as you can see, we have an extensive list of integrations available. Lastly, we have our XMatter specific steps. These steps can trigger XMatters alerts, build out logic, and get data within XMatters. If there are any other data handling or specific actions that you need to support your process, you can leverage custom integrations to build out your steps based in JavaScript code. This workflow here is a simple integration using a monitoring tool as a trigger. We have added Microsoft Post to Teams along the process. When receiving an alert for X Matters, acknowledging as a response is standard. But with Flow Designer, it's easy to build actionable responses. Here, I have two actionable responses. First, we'll build a Jenkins job. The second will trigger an incident within X Matters. Let's test the two actionable responses. In this scenario, I'm an on-call engineer that will receive an alert from Dynatrace. I'll try to clear the warning by restarting the service using Jenkins. If the alert doesn't clear, I'll launch an incident for further investigation. We can watch the left-hand side here for my MS Teams window that I'll receive a notification from X Matters. So I've received a notification from Dynatrace. It has the details here and has all the actual responses that's configured in Flow Designer. So first, I'll try running the Jenkins validation job. I can see that the response was sent successfully. I also note that the same message was posted to my Teams channel and the response from Jenkins will be posted in this card. I can see the result of the Jenkins job written under the card here. If this job was not run successfully, I can go and launch an incident from my original X minus alert. I'm going to respond initiated incident. The response has been sent successfully. And in my incident console, I can quickly refresh and see that the incident was triggered. This is our major incident module. As you can see here, all the details from the Dynatrace alert has been moved over. We also have automated tasks that are created. MS Teams as was created automatically and also the service that's impacted is listed here. So looking at the tasks, the first task is to check recent changes and other dependencies with my service. So I'm gonna click through my service and I can view additional services and the dependencies here. So my service, order services has no active changes. And in the dependency mapping, I can actually see that there is an incident active in Kubernetes. So let's go check that out. So I can see that there are being changes that were made. And also there's one active incident. So it looks like this incident's ongoing. And what I can do is take this incident to my current incident. So INC199. So in my incident console, I'm going to link INC199. As a possible reason that could have caused my outage. So since I'm done this task, I'll mark this as completed. And as you can see below here in the timeline, 
all the actions that I'm taking is being logged. This would be really helpful for post-mortem or after the incident is resolved for you to go back and to see which actions were taken at what time. To quickly review the process that we worked through, this create incident step, initiate an X-Miners incident, automatically added the task, created an online meeting, and posted all the actions back into the Teams channel. And we can see that through the MS Teams channel, the fire jumpers. Now there's an active incident and there's a Teams conference that's active. So for any other team members, they can jump onto that Teams channel through the MS Teams meeting note here. To further enrich the alert, we can think about what information the on-call resource needs to quickly make a decision on the next steps. Is this looking at recent deployment log or Splunk query? What steps are generally done manually today that you can easily add to Flow Designer? Could you estimate how much time it will save by having the information available alongside the alert that was triggering from your monitoring tool? As you can see, with the available integrations, you can easily add Splunk or GitHub to your existing flow. We looked at how XMatters can automate the predictable and repeatable processes using Flow Designer. How incident commanders are able to quickly assess the situation using the service dependency mapping and change records. Our incident console provides a single plane view for all your incident communication task and history. Check out our online resource at help.xmatters.com for more information and our latest updates. Build operational resilience and automate all the way to resolution with Everbridge X Matters.